Have you enjoyed the thrill of flight? This is an exciting time in American ski jumping. It's simple, really. Nothing is more thrilling and captivating than the sport of ski jumping. The joy can come on any size hill or from any distance. If you dream of this, the time is now. USA Ski Jumping presents the Virtual National Championships, starting now. Hi, I'm Greg Winsberger from Shoreview, Minnesota, member of the Minneapolis Ski Club. My longest jump was 479 feet, 146 meters in 1974 at Planitsa, Yugoslavia. I put my right foot forward in my landing. Judge number two from the U.S. Ski Jumping Team, Nick Farrell, shown here in this extraordinary jump from Planitsa. I'm Blake Hughes, coach of USA Ski Jumping. I'm from Park City, Utah. My longest jump was 139 meters, and I used to put my left foot forward in my landings. Judge number four, two-time U.S. Olympian, Peter Frenette. Right foot forward. Hey everybody, this is Clint Jones. I'm originally from Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and now I live in Park City, Utah. And I always land with my left foot forward in Telemark. Judge number six, Bini Norkic from Kron, Slovenia. U.S. international coach. Left foot forward. Welcome everybody to the U.S. Ski Jumping Virtual Nationals. I'm Peter Graves alongside Olympian Jeff Hastings. We're going to call the action today of the U10 girls and here's a look at the starting order. Becca Farner from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Adeline Swanson from St. Paul. Tinsley Wilkinson out of Steamboat, Colorado. Ella Ridingsworth from Salisbury, Connecticut. And Taylin Schneider from Itasca, Minnesota. And now we're about ready, Jeff, to get to the action. And the first athlete we're going to see, Becca Farner from Steamboat Springs. And Becca's skiing here in Steamboat Springs. She knows these hills well. Won the first Steamboat event in January. Nice looking jump, Jeff. Very strong from the takeoff. Very quiet with the arms, too. That's great stuff out of Becca. All right, our panel of distinguished judges comes up with a score. 83.3 points. That'll put her right now into first place. And we'll continue on with Adeline Swanson of St. Paul, Minnesota. And Adeline won the first event of this Central Tour. Wow, very strong at that takeoff. Watch this now, coming again. Works everything, including the arms. Gets them out there for balance. Way down the hill, you can see those markers looking way beyond what they were expecting out of that one. Anyway, Adeline won that first event and has since been top three almost every time. 81.0 will put her into second place in a close competition thus far. Tinsley Wilkinson from the Steamboat Springs Winter Sports Club is at the top. And we see the best skiers last year, the skiers that won in their divisions. And Tinsley was the power in the West, was the winner of the Western Division. Taking a look again, nice flat back there, arms just where you like to see them. A little bit late on that takeoff and reaching with the chin. Hips came through just a bit, but a good effort from Tinsley. You can see why she's best in the West. All right, and we check the marks now. 79.5 total points. Right now, Tinsley sitting in third place. And we'll move along to our next jumper. This is Ella Riding Sword out of Salisbury, Connecticut. And this is a gutsy move. Ella submitting. The Foop of Fire from Lebanon Outing Club, a great tradition there. I can tell you, nobody jumps early under conditions like this. Sitting a little bit high, like she wants to get a look at that Hoop of Fire. It's going to be interesting to see how the judges treat this, because it certainly is a brave move submitting this kind of a video for an event like this. All right, well, we'll find out what the marks are and how Ella's form was in that competition. 77.5 meters, good for fourth place at the moment. And Clint Jones liked it with 82 points there. That's the big score. Now, Taylin Schneider from Colrain, Minnesota. And Taylin has been on a roll. She won five out of the last five events in Central. 
Seems like nothing's going to stop her. Boy, that's a nice looking in run position. Arms came a little bit wild. She hit it so hard on the takeoff. But boy, sits beautifully on that in run. Well, a very nice jump, Jeff. Let's take a look at it again in instant replay. Yeah, I love what her coaches have done with her here. Knees set forward. Ah, keeps the upper body pretty low, comes just high at the end a little bit and wipes those arms, but right down next to that K point. Boy, I think the judges are going to like that one. We're going to go to the graphics just as soon as we can get them. And they pop up here. 86.3 meters. That's going to be good for Talon to take first place. And so here are the final standings now of the U10 girls. Taylin Schneider coming up with a victory. Becca Farner from Steamboat in second. And Adeline Swanson in third. Congratulations to all the ski jumpers. And thanks for joining us, everybody. You're watching the virtual U.S. Ski Jumping Nationals.